All right, guys, welcome to the live. So I'm going to do a little reading for you guys. It's talking about someone who's coming towards you in July. So this month, technically, this is someone who's very stable. They might own their own business with this tycoon card. Um, or that's just basically talking about, about them being like very ambitious. Okay. So this is someone who's very determined to have you. So let's see what else we got in terms of this person. Give me more messages for my collective about this person. Okay, so we got eight to nine months. This is very similar to the live reading that I did. We have obsessed with your body, gossip, envy, secret admirers. So I feel like you have all three here. And this is someone who's definitely looking up to you. Yeah, I feel like this is very similar to the live reading that I just did. So I might put the link to that in the description. Give me more messages for my collective about this person. I wish you knew how I feel about you. Good karma. This is definitely talking about the reading that I just did. Okay, so if you want a longer uh, reading in terms of this person, the link is in the description for this video. So this person could be born in July also, but I feel like... You might either eat them or eat them. <laughs> you might either meet them between eight to nine months or less. And they could have very strong cancer placements or you're going to meet them in July. All right. So give me more messages for my collective about this person. Yeah, this is definitely very heavy. Um, very similar to the reading that I did. I cannot stress that out enough. Okay. It was talking about someone at the job, either at your current job or a past job or someone online randomly, just secretly admiring you. So it could be someone who came across you on social media and it's like, they've been, they're hiding their feelings for you. So that's what I was talking about. So give me more messages for my collective. They want to know everything about you. So this person's definitely um, curious. So they don't know you too much. They may know of you or it's like they know you to a certain extent. Or it's like someone who's random, like you've never met them before. They've never met you. But I feel like the moment they see you, it's like they know. They know that you're the one that they want to settle down with for the rest of their life. Let me do a tarot reading on this person. It's definitely someone with strong cancer placements because cancer is in July. I'm going to pull out 10 cards and we're going to see what we got. So we got the Hierophant. Oh my God, y'all, look at this shit. This could be someone with strong Taurus placements also, but it's someone who definitely wants a traditional relationship with you. They might also have their own business or it's like they work for some type of institution. This is someone with really strong morals. They want to marry you. Okay, so four of wands. There's going to be some type of clarity with this person, victory, breakthrough, because I feel like some of you guys feel stuck when it comes to finding someone who's meant for you. You're looking for someone to settle down with. So I feel like you could have manifested this person into your life. You focus on what you want and you make it happen or they're determined. They could be viewing you in that sense, like they're determined to have you. Yeah, the chariot card. So they're really ambitious. They're really driven towards you. They're very determined to have you. This is the card of determination. Strong cancer placement. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God, y'all. It's definitely for a lot of you guys. Um, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but I feel like a majority of you, it's somebody at your job. And it's like they're hiding their feelings for you, the hermit. <clears throat> excuse me this is someone who's very successful like they manifest anything that they want whatever they want they go after it indefinitely tycoon 
This person could have strong Virgo placements also, or Leo. But I feel like the moment they seen you, it's like they knew. So they dedicate their time towards you. The moment they knew that they wanted you, it's like they know they know that they have to invest time in you. Or it's like they have to make time for you. Because I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very busy at their job. Um, they have like a lot of responsibilities. So they're, they're going to make time for you. Um, and then they're going to pursue you. Or it's like the moment they pursue you and you guys go out on a date, it's like they start making adjustments to make time for you. Because I feel like this person is very busy. Yeah, this is someone who's very charming. I feel like this person's gonna make you so fucking happy. Like, this person will literally sweep you off your feet. So, it's like you might embody that energy where it's like you know the right person will wait until you're ready. You're not in a rush to meet someone new. But if somebody comes along and it's like someone that you're interested in, you'll give it a go. That's the type of energy that I'm getting from your end. But I feel like this is also talking about how they're charming. Like, they're very fucking charming. It's like this person will make sure that you leave them like with a big smile on your face. Like you're always going to think about them. Um, they're always in the back of your mind type of thing. So it's like they're always, they basically make your day. You could be having like a very stressful day, but everything, um, it doesn't matter because it's like this person's in the back of your mind and it's like you look forward to seeing them. So that's the type of energy that I'm getting from that. I feel like you're like, I'm also getting something about you like constantly thinking about them in a, in a very intimate way while you're working. So I was getting that message in the live reading where it's like, you're going to leave this person after intimacy and it's like, you cannot stop thinking about them. So that's what I'm getting with that. But it could also be roles reversed as well. Okay, I'm going to shuffle one more time. Is there any other messages you want to tell my collective? Thank you. Yeah, this person's determined. Like, I cannot stress that out enough, y'all. This person, like I said, in the live reading, I was saying that it's either someone who's overlooking the job and they've they've acknowledged you and they've been observing you um, at the job or it's somebody online. And it's like, they're going to pursue you very soon. This is someone who wears formal clothes or suits to work. That was clarified in the live reading. So this person could have strong Scorpio placements. Yeah, so some of you guys are either going to meet them online. Um, and then others of you, it's someone currently at your job or at a previous job that you were working at. Okay, so like I said, y'all, if you want the longer version of this reading, the link is in the bio.